Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here, all the way from North Texas, from my house to your house. How are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are doing good. I am doing good. I had me a nice long nap today, and I'm refreshed and ready to go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I mean, I hadn't been doing anything but eating and napping all through this holiday, and I'm sure half of the America is too, because that's what we do on the holidays is eat and sleep, especially on our off days, right? So anyway, today is Monday. Oh, I'm not even sure what day of the month it is. I know it's either the first, second, or third. <laughs> but anyway... Um, over the weekend, I got some Timu packages in the mail, and I've just been saving them because I didn't feel like opening them yet because I was busy napping. But I'm done napping now, and I got three packages sitting right here. And uh, this one I'm real excited about because this one is going to have something in here that's going to help my Taco Tuesday. Yep. Now, you know, I keep telling you, when I order this stuff from Timu, I only get the stuff that I need. And, um, yeah, so, <clears throat> if I don't need it, I don't buy it, because I'm on a fixed income, and I have to make sure that, um, I, I keep my money in the bank so I can pay my bills, right? Because <laughs> bills first, pleasure second, so... Whatever it is that you like to spend your extra money on, you have to pay your bills first. Now, I still got to get this package in the mail to my friend for her baby shower, her grandbaby. I was just going to take it today, but I ended up napping too long, so I guess I'll have to take it tomorrow to the post office. But anyway, um, I got my scissors here. Chop, chop, chop. So let's get into these packages. Chop, 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 and see what Miss Peggy got for herself that I got from Timu. Now, before I open this, I want to tell y'all, if y'all order anything from Timu that you think that Miss Peggy's going to like it, Miss Peggy needs it or wants it in her life, y'all go down there in the comments and y'all put it in there and just tell me what it is. And you don't even have to have a... Um, a uh, proper name or a number just tell me what it is and what it looks like and I'll go find it so Yeah, so I'm pretty good at finding it because I watch Timu videos and When I see that they got something that I want on their videos I will put that video on pause and I'll go straight over to Timu and look for it and put it in my list and then go back and watch the rest of it so Okay, so let's see what's in here. It looks like some goodies in here. Y'all want to take a peek? And see what's in there. So let's pull the first thing out. Let's see what this is. Oh, I'm real excited about this. Now you would think this is a spanking paddle. And it might be good for that. If y'all got some children, this might be a good paddle for you. But this is not what it's for. This is an intention to help me make my bed when I change my sheets. Yeah, go figure. How's this going to help me change my sheets, right? So, it does. It absolutely does. And when I saw it, I was like, man, my knuckles are going to love me for this. Because this thing is for when you're trying to tuck them sheets in the foot. Or even on the side. Instead of tucking them in with your hands and trying to raise the mattress up and all that. And I always get my knuckles tore up on the bottom mattress. You just push this under in between the mattresses and it's going to tuck it in for you. Yeah. So who thought? The sheet tucker. <laughs> yeah. So I'm anxious about using this. I don't have no children. <laughs> I know the children are running right now. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, so that's going to come in handy in more than one way. <coughs> Let's see what else is in here.
something that's got legs. Got some legs on it. and You know, I think this is for my painting. I think this is for my paintings. Uh, you know, Miss Peggy paints rocks. And I leave rocks around the city of Cowtown everywhere I go. I leave them outside the stores and I leave them... Um, let me go get one and show you. Uh, just in case y'all are new to my channel and y'all haven't watched, but that's one of my rocks that I paint. And um, I paint these and on the bottom I post, post a picture on Fort Worth Rocks and rehide it or save it keep it whatever so yeah so this right here is for that so let's open it and see how this is going to help with me painting rocks so let's see how these legs are going to go in Okay, they got little pre-things right there, so that one's where the puzzle legs go. You just want to watch for those and stick them right in there. There's one, two, and three. Okay, and then this one goes in those little solid slots. Okay. All I have to do is stick my paintbrushes in these standing up and they keep the paintbrushes standing up straight. Isn't that cool? So yeah, this is gonna help me with my paintbrushes for my painting rocks that I do. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, this looks like a ring. And it, <laughs> comes in this little package. Now, I try to open these packages as easy as I can so I can put my jewelry back in them. Because I haven't ordered a jewelry box yet. So, I'm still keeping all my jewelry in these. And then I just look through them and find the one I want. So let's see what this one is. A package in a package in a package. <laughs> so, oh, this is my other butterfly rings. I'm collecting all of the different colors of these butterfly rings. Now, they got two different kind of butterfly rings. Now, this butterfly, if you look at his antennas, his antennas are turned to where they are touching his wings and they won't catch on anything. They have another butterfly ring that the antennas are straight out and they'll catch on things. But anyway, I'm doing my best to collect all of these rings because I love butterflies and no matter what I'm wearing, I'm going to have a butterfly that'll fit. I mean, that'll match, match my clothes. So I'm just mostly just getting size six because that's what I wear. But it, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pink, light pink. So let me take this one off and put this one on. Yeah. So, yeah, no matter what I'm wearing, I'm going to be able to look good in the butterfly. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just doing the best I can to try to collect all of these. I can't wear both of these because I've already got both the rings on both hands. So let me just set it right there. And we'll get back to it in a minute. Oh, now these are earrings like the ones I have on. Now these are heart earrings. Can you see them up there? Like, 
And uh, I'm collecting also all the colors of these because these are like a, a turquoise type stone. Of course, they're fake. And <coughs> I got the yellow ones on. <coughs> and these ones are green. Couldn't remember if I showed them to you or not. But yeah, these are green. And I think this is the last one that I don't have the color of. But see how they kind of look turquoise in there? And they just hang down from the side of the heart. Yeah, I just love those. And they match these. So yeah, I'm collecting all the different colors. Now see if I already had this on. I mean, open when I put these clothes on. This would match this outfit right here. But it, it wasn't. So I didn't have them. But I do now. So, yeah. So I like those. I'm collecting all the different colors of those, too. But, um... I just spilled the bag on the floor, and I lost one of those little, um rubber things that goes on the back of the earring. I'll find it later, too. <laughs> oh, and this is another pair, so this might be the last ones. See, those are the orange ones. Aren't those pretty? Let's get these out. They also match these right here. So, yeah, like I said, I'm collecting all of the heart earrings that hang down on the side so the heart's not up like this it's kind of hanging at an angle and these are real pretty because these are kind of a <laughs> an orange aren't those pretty i like those yeah and they're only like less than a dollar you know uh, on Timu, and that's another thing I forgot to charge my other phone, so I can't be giving y'all price checks on this one. So I'm so sorry. So now this, oh, this I ordered for my my Bubba, my son Bubba, because I ordered one for me and I loved it so much, and I'm sure he's gonna want one too because. He is in management, and he has an office, and he has a desk, and so he can display this. On his desk. It's just a little praying mantis that sits on your desk. Isn't that cool? So, yeah. So... I'm going to put that in a stocking stuffer. So let's see what else. Oh, now this is kind of self-explanatory. This is going to check my batteries and tell me if they still got any life left in the batteries. You just put the battery in right there and you push it up and it will tell you how much life you still got in your battery. So I'm real excited about this because this is going to help me empty a drawer over here that I'm not sure if they're good or they're bad. So that's going to come in real handy. Okay, now this is going to help me with my earrings because I have two of these. And I'm run out of room for them because I've already got all my jewelry in every little compartment and I don't have enough for the rest of these. So this is what this is for. So I've got three of these now, counting this one. And these little things are so handy. They work so good because they're clear. And... Um, I don't know where the opening is. So let's just cut, you know. Cut, 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 zip, zip, zip. 
So I've just stacked two on top of each other right by my bed. So when I get ready to put on my earrings, all I have to do is, is pull these up. So this has these little snaps right here that snaps it open. And then you just put your stuff in there and then you can close it. Now, it also has a peg hook thing at the top. So if you have a peg hook, you can just put these on your little peg hooks and pull them down when you need them. So yeah, I just love these. These are what I keep my jewelry in. And I will be putting these in there. So yeah, so those are handy things. And those are just like a dollar also. So let's see what else. Now, these... These are, are like those little uh, laundry squares that I got. Now, those laundry squares, that are laundry soap, but they look just like a, um, <coughs> I can't even think. You know those little uh, fabric softener things that you put in your laundry in the dryer? These look like that, but they're for the washing machine and they have soap in them. And when you drop it in the water, it just dissolves. Now this one is for the floor, the kitchen floor or whatever floor. You can mop the hardwood floor with it, the tile floor and the um, tile floor, the hardwood floor and the uh, anoleum floor. So that's what I got these for. So they are 30 of them. And it was like a dollar. And um, 30 times I could mop my floor for a dollar. So yeah, it's already got the stuff in it that your floor already needs. Let me just open this so y'all can really see what these little sheets look like. But like I said, I've already been using the ones that I drop in the washing machine to do laundry with. And um, yeah, they are just so convenient. And see, they just come in these little sheets. And you can tell they're they're kind of thicker, but um, yeah, they just dissolve. When you drop that into your um, washing machine, that soap will dissolve because that's all these are is laundry soap made into a little square. So yeah, I do love these and, and I've been using the ones for the laundry. Now I got the ones for the floor. So yeah, these things are really, it's pre-measured, I mean like, um, I'll just run a little water into my sink, hot water, and then drop one of these in there, or even the mop bucket, and, uh, you're ready to go. So, yeah, I'm anxious to try the floor one, because if it works any way like the, uh, laundry one did, it's gonna be great. Now, this is a rechargeable light for your keychain. Now, I like this so much getting so much good reviews on it i went back and ordered four of them because i was getting them like for 50 cents and when i went back and got some more um i got some for christmas and stuff because these you can charge them it's got the little charger that comes so you can charge it a usb charge and um Let's see if I can tell how to turn it on. Yeah, so it's already charged. And it's got just like most of the bat, I mean, like most of the uh, flashlights do on Timu, is they have a bright, a dim, and then a strobe. So yeah, so you can just put this on your uh, keychain and carry it around with you like, I don't know, like your fob. If you got a fob and this, it might be a little bulky, but um, yeah, I mean, you could just put this in your purse or, you know, a lot of purses have little um, clips on the corners and you can just clip this onto your purse and carry it around. So yeah, so I got one of these for some Christmas presents. So I'm real excited about these. And it's just like little rechargeable lights.
So, yeah. I mean, I don't like to go anywhere where I, I'm, like, in the dark, you know. I might even put one of these on my back porch. So, if I go out there to feed the cats, I can just not have to go out there in the dark. So, that's good. Let's see what else is down here in this little bag. That sounds like all of it. Oh, now, <laughs> and these are smaller than I expected them to be, for sure. But they're big enough. These are heavy-duty magnet hooks. Now, I put a lot of stuff, Christmas lights and all kinds of stuff, on my carport. And I always need hooks to, to hook them. I can put these hooks on the carport itself because it is metal. And they will stay there. So, I'm real excited about being able to use these magnetic hooks. You can even put them on your refrigerator. I mean, on your washing machine. Anything that you need to hang something. Uh, yeah. These are, these are good little hooks right here. So, it says heavy duty magnets. So, they're not little, little, little weak. Empty bag. <laughs> Okay, so that was one bag. Now, these orders, I try my best to just buy $10 at a time. So, the best I know, each bag has $10 worth of product in it. And what I did was to keep them from putting one order with another order, I waited until the order was processing or shipped before I put the next one in. So that they would be separate and they wouldn't add them. Because a lot of times Timu will add orders together before they ship. Even though it's free shipping for us, it's not really free shipping for them. So, yeah. So that's always nice to know. Because sometimes you just don't want them to come together because you want them to be separate. Okay, so let's see what's in here. Now this is, is somewhat just like the uh, barbecue lighter that I ordered last week or week before last that y'all saw. It had a pink handle just like this. And I'll tell you, I've been using this rechargeable lighter. Rechargeable lighter for my bathroom heater and for the candles on my stove. I set them on my stove because it's a glass top and then I know they're going to be safe burning sitting on the stove rather than anywhere else in my house. So I got tired of taking this lighter from my stove to my bathroom because after I got that, um, that first candle and I wanted to burn it, I couldn't find a lighter in this entire house. I searched this entire house for a day and a half. I couldn't find a matchstick. I couldn't find a book of matches in the bathroom drawer. I couldn't find nothing. So I went to the store and I bought a box of matches. And then I bought one of these off of Timu. And uh, now that I've got that, I, I'm not missing lighters anymore or missing matches. But now I had to carry it back and forth. So I ordered this one because it was on sale for like three something. And um, now I got one in the kitchen for my uh, candles. And I have one in the bathroom for my stove in the bathroom that's gas. So now I've got one in both places so I don't have to carry them back and forth. Good thinking, right? <laughs> but these are normally like four or five dollars. So if you see them for three something, I would jump on it. Now, this charge thing is longer than the one I have that came with mine. Mine's only like this long. It's really short. But this allows you to get further away from where you're plugging the USB in to charge it. So this is a very, very good lighter. I mean, it just arcs across those little things at the top. But it will light a candle. And it will light a bathroom heater. Now, also... Um, it's got a long enough neck on it that I ought to be able to light my barbecue grill with it too because this will go right down between those slats and it should um, be able to light my barbecue grill. So this will work for three things. So that's good. So let's see what else is in the bag of goodies. So 
So this is some more of those sheets. And these are the laundry detergent sheets. Now, I bought some more of these because I've been using them and I really like them. So these were on sale cheaper than I, ones I already ordered. <coughs> so I went ahead and got some more. Now these are, um, well, they got a tag over the quantity. So let's see if I can peel it off. You know, even the grocery store does that. Whenever I'm at the grocery store and I'm trying to look at a barcode or or whatever, it's like um, every time I think there's 30. No, this says right here 60 count. There's 60 count right there for 60 loads of laundry less than $2. So, yeah, so since I thought they did a really good job, I went ahead and ordered some more. So, I'll just throw these back there with my laundry uh, detergent, and then I'll have some more uh, when I get through with that. So, I've only washed like two or three loads, and I had 60, so I still got 57 loads to go, and I've got another 60. So, I'm probably good for the next year, at least through my birthday, at least through my birthday. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so that's the end of this second bag. So what do we do with bags? Oh. <laughs> okay, now this one is the one that I'm real excited about because this is the one that's got my stuff in it that I ordered that's going to help my Taco Tuesday. And y'all understand why when you see it. see how many minutes I'm in 27 minutes so there's just no way to do a Timu package thing in a 10 minute video now look you can see them sticking out you got a clue there's two of them in here because I ordered two I ordered one for me and I ordered one for my son because he's got a truck and him and his wife has already been eating McDonald's and stuff sitting in the new truck. So that's why there's two of them. Here. So let's look. It's got a cup holder. <laughs> you getting it now? This is a steering wheel holder. Now this right here hooks to your steering wheel at the bottom or at the top, depending on how, how your steering wheel adjusts. But it, it hooks onto your steering wheel and then you can eat. It gives you a little a little tray to eat on right there in your car so on my next taco tuesday you're gonna see miss peggy moving on up to the side got some classy tray to eat by <coughs> so yeah <coughs> they're both exactly alike one's for me and one's for a gift. So let's see what else. Now, these are like the little dish rags that I got that are about this wide that I love so much. These are the towels that go with them. So let's open these. Now these are supposed to be larger than the dish rags, <coughs> but these are the dish towels. And like I said, I love those dish cloths, I mean dish rags, so good. And like I said, they're only like this wide. You know, they could be a little wider, but <coughs> these are supposed to be drier, drying um, towels. Now these are really, really soft. It almost feels like a baby flannel blanket or something, but um, yeah, it's real soft. And um, how many does it say is in here? <laughs> My glasses ain't focusing. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them in here. And yeah, these are gonna be good for washing dishes. I mean, for drying the dishes. So, 
I'm excited to be trying these, so I haven't had those, but I do have the little dish cloths, and they're really good. They could be a little bigger, like I said. Now, now this is for Charlie. I got this for Charlie. <laughs> you wonder why Charlie needs something like this? Let me tell you why Charlie needs something like this. So, you know, Charlie has seizures. And Charlie takes gabapentin twice a day. Takes gabapentin in the morning at 8.30, and he takes gabapentin at night at 8.30. Um, my son Bubba's got my alarm on my phone set up so it goes off at 8.30 in the morning and it goes off at 8.30 at night to give me a reminder it's time for Charlie's medicine. But to give Charlie his medicine, I have to get sliced cheese. Now, I buy the Velveeta cheese because some of the cheaper cheese doesn't fold, it doesn't melt, it doesn't um, transform into the square that it comes in. <laughs> it's almost like it's not even cheese. It's more like plastic. <coughs> so I buy the Velveeta cheese <clears throat> and um, I'm putting it in here. They'll set those slices right there and you can hook that little thing right onto the side of the door. You can either have this on the inside of the door or you can have it hanging on the outside of the door of those little things on the door of the refrigerator. So yeah, this is for Charlie's Velveeta cheese that's gonna be hanging on the door in these and all I have to do is reach in and grab one. So yeah, Charlie's really excited about getting his new cheese thing because one thing Charlie don't like, Charlie don't like missing his cheese. If I miss his cheese, and we're laying in the bed at 9.30 or 10, and he ain't got his cheese yet, and he's pretty sure I'm not even thinking about his cheese. He will start acting up in the bed and carrying on, walking in and out of the covers, walking around the bed, falling on me, falling on the mattress, falling, just interrupting my sleep, even if I'm trying to go to sleep. And sometimes that will remind me, it's like, maybe I didn't give Charlie his cheese, and I'll go look. And as soon as I give it to him, under the cover he goes and he is asleep. He's like, okay, that's all I was waiting on. <laughs> so, yeah, so the Velveeta cheese is going in this. In Miss Peggy's refrigerator. It's not gonna help him get his medicine, but it will uh, help, help. It'll eliminate a plastic container on the shelf that I use because I don't put it in the, um, drawer or anything. I just leave it on the shelf where I can see it. Now this little thing, I'm anxious to try this because this is a skillet scraper. If you cook hamburger meat and leave it on the stove to congeal and get hard, if you cook bacon and you leave the grease on the stove to get hard, anything that's in your skillet to say that you're making macaroni and cheese and you still got some in the bottom you need to get out. This little scraper will help you do that. It will help you scrape everything out of that skillet into a bowl, into the trash, into whatever container you're saving that stuff. So, yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, because... <coughs> Even though I don't cook a lot, I do cook things that I have to scrape out all the time. So, uh, it has a little deal where you can hang it on the wall. And then, um, it has a little pointy thing you can get in the little crevices. It has the round edge, so to just go around the skillet. And you can just scoop all this stuff out of that skillet. Pot and pan, whatever you have before you put it in the sink so that you can get uh, everything out of the skillet before you wash it. Because the worst thing you can do is put grease down your sink. Um, <laughs> I used to watch my mother-in-law pour grease down her sink all the time. And her husband told her all the time, 
that if you don't stop pouring that grease down that sink, I'm going to have to call the roto rooter out here. And what happened? He did just that. He called the roto rooter out there because the sink and the toilet was backing up. And um, when he did, that roto rooter guy came in the house and told him that his whole roto rooter chain was just full of grease. That his whole pipe was just full of grease. And all they could do is get hot water from his water tank and pour it down there. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm all right. And he had to just run hot water down his sink, and and that's what the plumber told him to do. There wasn't much they could do to get that out of there because most clogs, you just clear the clog, but grease, Crisco grease in the pipes is not really a good thing, so... That's an experience I had with somebody that wouldn't stop pouring grease down their sink. So this little thing is important to get all that out of your skillet before you wash it. So just in case you need to know. So let's see what else is in here. Oh, I wasn't sure how big this was going to be, but it is just about the big as I thought it was going to be. So this is uh, actually... So when I make macaroni and cheese or anything like that, if you got pasta water and pasta, you just pour it in here, and then it's got all these little drain holes that when you slant it, it just drains all the water out of it. So, and that's all it is, is it's just to drain the water out of the pasta. The best I remember now, you know, I don't have my phone sitting here, so... If they said it could do anything else, Miss Peggy's mind's not very, I don't have a very good memory sometimes anymore. So I can't really remember what else they said it would do. But, um, yeah. Now sometimes, when Timu stuff comes, you see how that's kind of warped out there on the edge? Now sometimes, after they've been out of the box, they reform their natural form. It doesn't ever stay like that. It'll go back to their natural. But even if this doesn't, it kind of looks like that could be a good warped edge right there. But yeah, this is just to help you drain the pasta water out of your spaghetti or something. And I think that's great because I can always use that. Because I, I, I cook ramen noodles a lot. I've been buying a package of five every time I go to the Dollar Tree. I've been going to Dollar Tree lately to um, get Charlie some potty pads because he can't go outside anymore because he just can't see. So, um, There's some running right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So uh, he doesn't go outside anymore, so uh, he falls up and down the porch. So when I go to the Dollar Tree... Um, and get him those. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say because the person had to talk to me. <laughs> okay, let's see what else. Oh, now it's hard to tell, but this is a hook for my seat in my car. It hangs onto the um, the neck rest that comes up in your neck that has those two metal bars that come up behind your seat to hold that neck rest up. And this just hooks onto that. And um, it is to um, hold my purse. So it's usually, I just hold, lay my purse in the front seat and now these are really made to hang backwards on your seat but i'm intending to hang it frontwards because i don't have a passenger and my purse and stuff can just sit right in the front seat hanging from the front <coughs> so i'm gonna hang these from that bar It's holding your neck 
uh, the neck brace on your seat. You put that through my finger hole there, and then you can just hook your purse or even grocery bags so that they don't fall over and they're staying where you put them. So yeah, this is gonna hang on my seat of my car to hold my purse or my groceries or whatever else that, cause sometimes my stuff falls over and it ends up uh, on the passenger side between the door and the wall there. So yeah, so I'm real excited about getting to use this. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Look at that. And that's something that needs to stay flat. Now this goes on, well it goes on anything, but I'm going to put it on my toilet. This is a holiday thing for the toilet tank. So that uh, when your toilet lid is down, this is what the front of your tank is going to look like. And what does it say? Nothing there. It says Christmas ornaments and a little Christmas tree. So I will put this somewhere <coughs> that'll lay flat. And I've already done one like that and it didn't hurt it at all to lay it flat and let it sit for a few days. So, yeah. So I've got a Santa I've got to put in my back window probably today or tomorrow. And uh, it also was wrinkled and I laid it flat and let it set and it did lay out and it did get better so i don't know what these are these look like more of these Ugh. i'm just knocking everything over so let's see these might be the towels that goes with them I thought I had ordered some, but I wasn't sure. Oh no, this ain't towel. This is a pillow, a uh, pillow sham thing. So I've got a lot of throw pillows, like this one right here. And when fall is over, I can put this on it. It's just about the right size for this pillow. So, and this pillow thing has a pocket on it. You can put your remote control, you put your phone, you put whatever you want in your little, um, for a second there, I thought this tag was on the pillow sham. I was like, that's not from Dollar General. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, as soon as uh, Thanksgiving and fall is over, I can reuse this pillow with this and it has a zipper on it at least it did in the video let's see where it goes on there it is right there got a little zipper right there so you just unzip it and put the pillow in there and zip it back up So I've got several pillows that are seasonal pillows like these. And I'm gonna start ordering some pillow shams for my couch. Now my couch is green. And this pillow sham, this is an olive green. But this pillow sham is gonna work good with this green couch right here. It's gonna really look good with it. So yeah, and this was just two or three dollars. It wasn't much, and it really is soft. It's really soft. So I am real excited about using this because it can change your seasonal throw pillows into whatever season you want. <clears throat> now these I ordered for my son, Bubba, because I was talking to him not too long ago, and he was telling me that his feet hurt all the time because no matter what kind of inner soles he buys, they're not enough. Now, he's in management, and he doesn't have to work the floor as much as the operators do, but he's on his feet enough. 
And I got these because I want to compare the Timu shoe comforts to the ones that you buy at the store that are real expensive. That keeps your walking. Keeps you walking and standing. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to give them to him for Christmas and tell him that he's in charge to use these, experience these, and rate these. And we'll come back and tell you what these ratings were. And what he thought about these insoles as far as, uh, you know, I can't even think of the brand names of the ones that are always, you know, you can buy them at almost any store. And uh, they're just insole certs to help keep you comfy. But I can't think of them. But anyway, okay, well, that is the last of my Timu haul. <laughs> Booyah! So now that I've made a mess out of my living room, you want to come clean it up for me? <laughs> it won't take that long for me to clean it up and make a make a, a presentable living room out of it. But um, you can see I put my um, comforter on my sofa because it matches my my uh, feather rug I got down here. So since I couldn't move it into the bedroom, I moved my feather comforter in here and got a pillow over here and I'm getting ready to binge watch some Hallmark movies because winter is here and we're fixing to get some cold and I'm not going to be able to get out and I'm just going to be couch bound and I'm going to be uh, snuggled up on my sofa in my feather comforter and staying warm to watch some Hallmark movies so that's what my plans are and I am working my um, self trying to get everything settled and ready so that I'll be ready for winter. So I'll, I'm going to let y'all go now. And that is all I got for you today. But I love y'all. Y'all go over on Timu and y'all find y'all some treasures at some real good prices. Maybe some Christmas gifts for somebody that you love. And um, I'll see y'all next time. So Adios from North Texas and goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.